Hi, my name is Ramna. My personal blog is .netiq.com. If you want to receive my latest videos and updates in your Facebook wall, please go to the .netiq.com. On the right side, you see a uh, Facebook like button. If you click here, you will start receiving my latest videos and latest updates on your wall. And if you want to follow in Google Plus, please click on the join in this site. Yeah, coming to today's topics, I'm going to cover how to create a ASP.NET Web Service which returns the response in JSON format and how to call JSON format ASP.NET Web Service from jQuery and how to call SOAP format, SOAP based ASP.NET Web Services from the jQuery. Um, these three things I'm going to cover in this screencast. I'm going directly to the source code and the example what I'm going to show. Oh, is my example local host. Yes, this is my example. See, I have a two sections here, JSON format call and SOAP format call. Whatever the name I entered here, it is going to, uh, j my jQuery is going to call the JSON format ASP.NET Web Service and return the, uh, it's going to print the response over here. And the same thing, whatever the name you enter here, it's going to, whenever you hit the go button, it's going to call, the, my jQuery is going to call the SOAP based uh, web service and uh, it's printing the result over here. I'm going to show you how I implement it. Uh, this is my source code project and I have a JSON service, ASMX service and a SOAP service, ASMX. I'm going to cover the first, the JSON service. Basically, I'm going to show how to create a ASMX service which is going to return the response in JSON format. This is my ASMX file. My, if you see the code behind, it is going to point to the service.cs in a app code, uh, sorry, in a app code folder. App code folder. This is the where the implementation of that service. In typical any web service, ASMX web service, these are the two uh, namespaces we used. But since this web service is going to return the response in JSON format, in additional we need to uh, import these two namespaces. Those are the web system.web.script.serialization and system.web.script.services. And make sure your class is service class is decorated with the script services attribute. So, and your web method, this is the my web method. Basically, this method is taking the string as name as the input parameter and it's uh, just adding the hello as the prefix. Just whatever is the name it receives is just adding the hello as the prefix and returning. That is the functionality of this web method. So, since this web method is going to return this response in a JSON format, I want to, uh, I, I need to decorate this web method with another attribute called script method and uh, I need to specify the response format at the JSON. And coming to, since it's a JSON format means you need to use a, J, a, a different serializer. So the JavaScript serializer is going to take care of uh, converting the serializing the your object or string or whatever it may be, it's a type is going to serialize into the JSON format. So basically this string is going to serialize into the JSON format using the JavaScript serializer. And coming, the, so it's basically it's written in the JSON format. Remember, it just returns the JSON format, but it it's again it's a SOAP based service. It's not a REST based service. It's a SOAP based service, but only difference is it is going to return your response in JSON format. That is the only difference. It's not a REST based service at all. Okay. And coming to my another service is SOAP service. Uh, if you see this is my code behind is it's referring to the app code dot soap service dot cs soap service dot cs this is the where uh, the implementation is based it's a typical asmx web service implementation you see here it has the uh, only web and web dot services uh, nothing fancy nothing new uh, and if you see the say hello method it is uh, taking the name as the input parameter and just returning the string name so basically it, it's going to return the, your response in a SOAP based SOAP format. Uh, coming to the my uh, default.aspx, this is the where I'm using the jQuery to 
call the these services and bef okay the, uh, these are the two code uh, two ui blocks which we saw earlier the json format call and uh, so format call it, here it have we have a test box the name of the id of the test box is the tst name when you hit on the go button it is going to call the greetings method and the same thing if you hit on the um, go button for the soap format uh, it is going to call the soap greeting here the test test box id is equal to test soap name and uh, i'm first i'm covering the json format call greeting greeting is the javascript method it is calling so and before that you need to make sure you download the jquery js file and uh, uh, add it to your project this is the uh, 1.5 1.5.2 is the version i am using the jquery version you can use any version from 1.3.7 onwards any version you can use but i am using the 1.5.2 and i added the jquery file to my project solution and also i referred that jquery in the jquery in my default.aspx this is the where i am calling the jquery methods to uh, reach this web services so in this greeting J javascript function i am just storing the what of the test uh, what of the name you entered in the test field i am just storing in the variable name and the ajax see the dollar symbol we know that the dollar symbol is indicates that it's a jquery function in the jquery we re re represent the jquery with the dollar or you can directly call with the jquery dot with any function any method is supported by jquery the ajax is the function with the um, method is going to provide the like you know the ajax is going we are using the ajax to communicate with the web services to reach the web services to get the response from the web services ajax basically is do the calls asynchronously and it, uh, it talks to the services and get the responses we in ajax uh, method in ajax method we have a different options depends upon the situation depends upon the need we can use those options here basically we are trying to communicate with the json format web service so in the url i specified as a json service dot asmx slash say hello dot say hello json if you see the that particular service uh, help page this is the help page and uh, if you see uh, this is again as i mentioned just this web service is going to return in a json format but again it's a soap service if you see this is a soap service and if you say it's a post method basically this is a post method and we need to be because we need to check this what the type of this method we need to refer that in our uh, uh jquery call in a ajax function i specified that json service dot asmx slash the web method uh th this is the web method and uh, the type is the post and the data type data type is the json because what of the format you are getting in a written is basically it's we are we are expecting it in json so you need to specify the data type as a json and the data data is basically the input parameters what are the input parameters your web method is expecting basically this web method is expecting the name as the input parameter since it is a json format json web method so we need to uh, pass the input parameter in json json is basically key value pair here the key is the name and value is the name whatever the user entered okay and the content type is application slash json because it's a json format service and whenever the call is success then what to do this is what we are specifying when the call is success then this piece of the function is going to execute it here we are getting the response is in a message format so i'm just uh, in the message has um, d is the key name it uh, it has some value is assigned and it i'm getting in a response so i'm just trying to print that uh, d key what are the value i i got so uh, i'm just uh, printing the what are the response i got from the service and in the error case i am specifying that if the service is some unavailable coming to the soap service this is the my soap service help page uh, here i have only one one web method that is say hello if you click that and see the url op equal to say hello and this is also again a the post this is also a post operation and uh, this is my soap request this is a soap request 
and this is what I'm going to get as a response. This is my SOAP response. This is my SOAP request and SOAP response, and this is a post operation. This is what this is my operation. Uh, this particular uh, web method URL. So in my when I'm communicating with the SOAP call in jQuery, I need to specify that URL. Whatever you suggest, I copied here and I pasted here. So op equal to say hello. Remember, this web service is also in part of the same project. I don't need to give this entire URL. Uh, I this is going to sufficient. But it's up to you. If you want to give the because if you want to give the complete URL, you can give. But if you want just to specify the dot slash soap service, that is also fine. But in if you see in the JSON service and uh, soap service, it is little bit different. In a uh, soap service, we are specifying question mark op equal to say hello. In our JSON sp service, we just specify ASMX slash the web method name. This is a bit different, but you can give the same way also. That's not a problem. But I just copied the same the op equal say hello from the browser and placed here. And if you see the soap request, whatever you see here, the same thing I copied from soap envelope. I just copied a soap envelope from starting and closing tag. I play pasted here. And the only difference is I just here if you see the string is the name. In in the place of the string, I Concatting with all the ways, what of the name the user entered, I am just passing that name in the request for body format. And if coming to the Ajax call properties, URL, whatever the URL you specified in Evo, this is the URL I am passing here. And the type, we already saw that it's a post, uh, post type. And the data type, basically it's a data, it's a SOAP format, is nothing but it's an XML, SOAP based XML format. The SOAP can be a XML or uh, a binary format, but it's a SOAP XML format. And the data, data I'm passing the word the SOAP request uh, variable, whatever you are saying. This is what the uh, SOAP services expect uh, request, and that, that I'm assigning here. And this this setting is very important. Process data equal to false because uh, I I struggle a little bit over here to find this setting. Uh, here, what you are saying is the AJAX method. You are saying that don't process the data, whatever we assign the value here like straight away go ahead and use that value don't process the da data i just use that value and pass to the service that's what you are indicating here whenever your uh, service is success the community call is success then you are basically you are getting the xml with soap xml you are getting the response so the xml i'm just uh, printing that xml uh, since it is returning the only one string that xml is going to have that string value so the thing is, if you are returning an object, you directly can go and XML dot find dot what the object properties you want to display using the find and some other uh, jQuery functions. You can what are the portion of the object you want to display. You can do that pretty much. Since it is a very single uh, single string, it is returning. I'm directly printing that value. Uh, this is how we call the SOAP based uh, uh, web services. In the above part is the JSON format ASP.NET web services. Remember, these two are the ASP.NET uh, world kind of ASMX of services, not the WCF services. Uh, I hope I have covered the, all the three topics, and I will come up with another new topic in my next next screencast. Thank you. Bye.